The software includes a suite of tools that allows you to create various income and expense entries and view your financial information in summaries, maps, reports, and even a profit loss analysis for SMS Advanced users. In this tutorial, you will learn about the different types of financial entries you can create, how to properly input your income and expenses, as well as how to view that information in maps and reports. To begin adding financial entries in the software, click on the Financial Entries icon in the main toolbar, or go to File, New, and Financial Entries. The Financial Entries dialog will now open. There are seven types of entries available. The first step to adding any financial entry is to use the Selected Year drop-down menu to select the year you wish to work in. After selecting the year, the dialog will update. The number displayed in parentheses indicates the number of existing financial entries for the selected year. With product purchases selected, the dialog will display each product that was applied or harvested. Simply enter the cost per product in the white cells. For products that were used in a product mix, enter the cost of each component and the software will calculate total cost of the mix automatically. If you've purchased the same product multiple times and paid a different price each time, click on the Multiple Prices button to enter the date range you paid the different prices. If you routinely buy the same products over multiple years and wish to load the prices entered in the previous year, click on the Load Previous Year Values button. Commodity Sales allows you to enter the average price per bushel for each crop type or product sold. Use the Enter Sales By drop-down to choose between entering commodity sales on a crop type or product basis. The Grain Sales Types menu allows you to enter prices on a volume or mass basis. If you've sold the same crop multiple times and were paid a different price each time, Highlight the item, click on the Multiple Sales button, and select Add to enter name, quantity, and prices. SMS will use the weighted average prices for all sales as the price used in the financial tracking dialog. Operational Expense and Income allows you to enter a cost or income on a per acre, per count, or per distance basis. These values are commonly used when paying a per acre fee for things such as custom harvest, per account fees associated with soil sampling, and per distance entries for tile installation. Field level expenses and income allows you to input fees or revenue for a single field or for multiple fields. Simply select the grower, farms, and fields to add entries for and add as many expenses or income entries as necessary. Tile expenses will only appear if you have tile installation plans or installed tile operations in the year you are currently working in. These entries will reflect the cost per foot for all tile sizes that were installed. Financial entries can be viewed in summaries, maps, the dedicated financial tracking report, and for our SMS Advanced users in the Profit Loss Analysis tool. While the summary and map windows will only display the currently selected operations, income, and expenses, the financial report will display all entries for the fields you select to include in your report. You have now learned how to enter financial entries into the software and view that information in summaries, maps, and reports. If you'd like to see more short tutorials from AgLeader, Please subscribe to our channel.